Hey guys, so I'm just gonna insert this random clip here, even though this isn't the day that I've started the vlog. I started the vlog ages ago, but um, I don't think I actually introduced the vlog. So this vlog is essentially just a little overview of all the events that I went to. I'm just gonna start playing them now. The last thing I think you saw was me and Dills at the next cosmetics event and I now just on my way to go meet Jodie and then I'm going to a IT cosmetics event because those of you always ask about IT cosmetics stuff and it's finally coming to the UK, it's coming to QVC so we're going to this big launch party and it's such a nice day in London so yeah, go I vlog and I'll keep you updated. Right. <laughs> Can I, plug this, can I plug this bad boy in? Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh my god. It's <laughs> With it They're launching tomorrow. Oh my god, amazing. Look how cool it looks. Doesn't know. Hi Rachel. Hey. I'm <laughs> sassy. Oh, thanks. Oh my god, the food. The lipstick cake. Look at those. I feel like perhaps my child. They look child. amazing. How cool it is in here. We're in QVC. Yeah. Yeah. It is actually so, so cool. I didn't realise it was going to be set up like this. No, we really good. I love it, cosmetic stuff so much. Have you taken pictures of food? I know. Oh, they had to get some food. She has, but she's she says she's been carefully put together with Louisa to give you like the best possible launch that we can. Um, but what we'd love to do first is really share with you our brand video. So you can hear from our founder, Jamie Kerlima. We'll tell you a little bit more about her story, but that way, uh, just kind of dive right in to what our brand is all about. I'm using the neutral medium shade. There's four shades. So there's light, medium, tan, and deep. It's waterproof. Um, and I like to warm it up on the back of the hand and you just kind of press it into the skin. Now, when we bring this product to air on Friday, we cut, it comes with a brush that was designed to, to do this for you. All of our brushes are designed to do the work for you because you may be makeup savvy, you may know exactly what you're doing, but there's a lot of them out there that don't, right? So mm -hmm. this brush is designed, it's dual-ended, to just get right up to the lash line. So this dual-ended concealer brush, you can take it right up under the lash line, and I like to kind of bring it down a little bit, but what is amazing is the other side. You use that to kind of buff it right in, and what it does, is it busts it into the skin, but it also kind of airbrushes it out. They are beautiful. And then finally, finally it's brushes. brushes. So at It Cosmetics, like, again, we design makeup for real women. Um, you guys are super advanced. You totally know everything that's going on, and you're in the know. Right? Yes, no, come on. Yeah, but you're, you're gonna see it. I don't know how to see it. Talk to you. Easy as possible. You'll stay here. It's a mini tutorial. Mini bye bye under eye tutorial. With just Jodes and Becca Rose. Just Jodes and Becca Rose. off to London to do a bit of shopping but then I actually have a teeth consultation about potentially getting um, 
some porcelain veneers on my front teeth. I'm not 100% sure on it yet, but I know I always see comments about my teeth and I've always been, there's always been something that I've been conscious of. It is such a beautiful day in London. Well, it will be. It's such a beautiful day. So, um, yeah. Let's go. my teeth consultation at the Wildbeck clinic so wish me luck. I swear I am the worst at ending vlogs but it's the next day but the teeth consultation went quite well there's a bit more sort of work that needs to be done I might do like a whole video on my teeth because there's so much sort of behind my teeth that you guys don't know yeah it went quite well so um I'll see where it goes from there and keep you updated. I did like a little shopping spree yesterday, so if I remember, I'll show you everything that I got. But one of the things I did get that I did my makeup with this morning is this Too Faced palette, and I wish you guys could smell it because it legit smells like peaches. I'm obsessed with it. Um, let me know if you want to see a look with that anytime soon. I didn't film the look that I just did because I'm in a rush to get ready because I have a meeting this morning with a brand, so... um. That should be really exciting, although the trains are really, like, effed up. So I'm really hoping I'm not late. So I better hurry up and leave. I'm not going to be able to vlog, but um, I'll take my camera with me just in case I vlog any other parts of the day. But if this isn't the end of the vlog, I'll continue to show you. Although, no, it won't be the end of the vlog because I want to show you what I got from the... in my haul. Okay, let's just... Whoop, cut that bit. And just see what happens next. Hey, so I just got done with my meeting up in London and I'm just waiting to get picked up by my dad so I thought I would kind of talk to you a bit about it and show you some of the bits that I got. So I had a nice meeting with Elemis which is a skincare brand as I'm sure you all know and she gifted me some really lovely skincare products. So I get a lot of questions about my skincare and it's always something that I change up throughout the seasons and just yeah like the time of year because that can really affect your skin so I definitely want to do an updated skincare routine or um, incorporate skincare somehow into a video so let me know your thoughts on that because I do get a lot of questions about it and if you guys also want to know where these glasses are from I got them from a market on Portobello Road it does say the brand on the side so I'm going to google it and I'll see if I ha they have a website and if they do I will leave it down below but I thought I would show you some of the skincare bits I got so as you can see she mainly gifted me bits from their advanced skincare range so loads of bits of oh oh my god I literally can't hold it oh my god so loads of bits that are going to be super nourishing, especially around this time of year when your skin can get really dry. This, oh my god, this is phenomenal underneath your makeup. It's like skincare and primer in one. So if you um, struggle with your makeup lasting because you've got drier skin, so you need your primer to be really nourishing, um, I seriously recommend this. I've tried it before, so I've already actually got one of these at home. But yeah, she just gives me some really lovely bits. So I can't wait to try these out. And I'll let you know how I get on with them because skincare is something that I... I've never really focused hugely upon just because I think I just got lazy because I naturally have quite clear skin which I'm so 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 grateful for so I have never really thought too much into a skincare routine just because I thought obviously what I'm doing now is working for my skin but I've been talking to loads of people about skincare recently and it makes such a difference apparently in the way that your makeup applies even if you have clear skin just to get into a good skincare routine so when I find one that I'm super super happy with I definitely want to do a video on it so let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you'd be 
interested in which i think it is because i do see a lot of comments about it but yeah i'm gonna be on my way home in a bit and when i'm home i will show you all the makeup that i bought yesterday and i think that'll be it so let's get on to the haul i actually just wanted to mention this makeup bag how cute it's got my initials on r e l and it is from this brand on instagram called l r m underscore goods and they basically do like personalized leather gifts so it doesn't necessarily have to be a makeup bag it could be like a uh, I think it's like sunglasses cases or like a little wallet or a keyring or something and I'm just in love with this colour for like summer and spring so I'll leave that Instagram down below if you're interested um, if you're struggling to think of someone like a gift for someone I think this is so so cute and it's perfect for like travel size as you can see it's kind of like the size of my hand so I can fit all my like makeup bits in there which I'm obsessed with I am home now so I'm just going upstairs I have a Amazon delivery because I ordered this, well I think if it's what, I haven't ordered anything else from Amazon so it can't be anything else, this like face tanning stuff from Fake Bake that's got like coconut scented stuff in it so obviously I was going to buy it if it was coconut infused but now I'm up here I thought let me, I'm such an idiot I've put everything away but I'll show you the main bits that I'm excited about that I bought yesterday so these are the bits i was most excited about so i got a couple of oh what's that oh it's my makeup <laughs> a couple of bits from Too Faced, something from urban decay and something from palmer's so oh my god i've been dying to get my hands on this palette i think it's the like most perfect <gasps> like summertime springtime palette there's like really gorgeous pinky peach shades obviously your neutrals and then there's a pop of purple a pop of like olive green i think this is such a gorgeous palette for the summer and i can already smell the palette from here i think i showed this palette earlier in the vlog but just as like a close-up i'm obsessed with these two puree and summer yum they're obviously warm crease colors and today i had this color luscious on my lid which is like uh really sorry for the finger ah let's focus a really gorgeous champagne colour. Then I got this, which is part of their Melted Chocolate range, which smells phenomenal once again. This is in the colour Chocolate Honey, and they literally, I think this was the last one. Let me swatch it on my hand. It's a bit darker than I would normally go. Oh my god, once again, I can smell it already, but... Mm, focus, 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 okay. It's like that kind of classic darker nude color slightly more of a brown undertone but i really like this um for the appearance of fuller lips i think it's quite a natural color oh my god they smell so good and then from urban decay i got their heavy metal glitter liner in midnight cowboy i have wanted this for so long my friends use this all the time and then i was watching lust deluxe or katie and she had this all over her lid and i was just like right that's it I need it. So it's kind of just like paint on glitter rather than spraying glitter on um, to your lid. That's what I'm going to use it for. Obviously, you can use it for glitter winged liner. So let me know if you want to see a tutorial with that one. And last but not least, I saw that Palmer's came out with a coconut oil body lotion. Coconut oil is like heaven sent, I swear to you. It's like the best for like stretch marks and just smoothing out your skin and everything. So I got this for kind of like a body moisturizer and it smells phenom. So this is what was in my Amazon package. It is the Fake Bake Flawless Coconut Tanning Serum for face and body. It's a serum, so I think it's meant to be a bit more hydrating. And this is the color medium. I tried to see if they did other colors, but I think it just comes in one let me just try and open this oh my god the packaging is like so much more different i love that it comes with gloves they're like a must-have i need to learn to use these because i always end up having like really dark hands but no i'm really excited to try this i always like um experimenting with new face tanners i mainly got this for my face because i religiously use my loving tan on my body so i got this more for my face so i'll let you know how i get on with that you might see me with a bit more of a tanned face these days maybe that means i'll get less comments telling me that my foundation's the wrong color okay okay so that comes to the end of this vlog i'm sorry it's been so mismatchy of things um i'm sure at the beginning of the vlog there are a lot of events that you saw i went to a long time ago um i just never got around to putting it all together so i thought i would finally just do it today before i get onto a new month and new things start coming in and i can start um vlogging them before it gets to too much footage so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and you prefer these more chatty vloggy type videos and i'll make sure to do them a lot more often or um yeah just include them more regularly on my channel but yeah um until next time i will see you soon make sure to leave future comments 
future comments future video suggestions in the comments down below and i will see you in the next video bye guys